Right, you guys, got another video on how to create a bootable ISO from a folder for free. So, if you've got content inside a folder, for instance, this Windows operating system, or maybe you've got a Office uh, content inside here, or other types of content which you want to make a bootable ISO out of, then I'm going to show you how to do this for free using Image Burn. Now, Image Burn has been around for a very long time. I'm going to get this from this website here, which is called TextBot. It's a pretty useful bit of software uh, to use to create bootable ISO files. So if you're looking to create a bootable ISO, then Image Burn is one of them. You've got Power ISO, you've got any ISO, you've got loads of different types of software you can use. So we're going to go ahead and install this on the system. So you choose which uh, software you want to use to create your bootable ISOs. Now, I've got a folder here which is empty called ISO. That is where the finished article is going to go. And there we have our files, which are going to be uh, converted into a bootable ISO file. So this is what it looks like when you open up Image Burn. You may see this bit of a log file here. Just put that down into the taskbar. From here, we're going to click on Create an Image File from Files and Folders. That's what we're going to be using here. So anything inside this folder will be created into an image. And that's what we're after. So first off, we need to select a source. So let's go ahead and click on this one here, which says browse for a folder. So let's click on this one and look for a folder. Mine's called Windows 11. This is where all my files are inside here. So I've selected this one here. From there, we need to now click on a destination. This is the destination location. So browse to the location where you want to save yours. Mine's going to be inside the ISO folder, which I created on my desktop. I'm going to leave it as a name called Windows 11, and you can call yours whatever your a file is going to be. Now what we need to do is go up to the top right hand side where it says advanced. Click on this area here. So once we click on this, this will open up another lower menu system which we're going to click on the bootable disk. So click on bootable disk and click there. Now you should see an option underneath here called make image bootable. Put a check mark inside there and on the bottom lower part here you'll see some information. There's this little drop down area. We don't need to worry about this. The only area you're concerned about is this boot image here. So click on browse for a file. Inside this folder, this Windows 11 folder, because it's a Windows file, we need to look for inside here called boot. There's a boot folder here. Click on boot. And once you're inside here, you should see a file called etfsboot.com. Click on this and then click OK. And this will then create our bootable image. Now, you can change the sectors to load. I'm going to change this to 8. And uh, from here, we are pretty much ready to go to click on uh, the Build button here. Now, if you want to create other bootable images, there is another bootable image file, which I'll leave a link in the video description so you can download it. But now we've got what we want here for this Windows section. Click on the Build button here, and this will ask us, whether to, we want to confirm a volume label. I'm going to leave this as Windows underscore 11 here, which is give me a name. So I'm going to leave that as is. Click yes. And then what's going to happen is going to say, do you want to continue here? We're going to click OK here. And it will then go ahead and build our ISO. And there we go. It doesn't take too long at all. And we've now created our booble ISO uh, from those files in that folder there. Let's quickly take a look inside the ISO folder and you should see the Windows 11 ISO that we just created here. Now it is bootable and I'll quickly open this up in Image Burn again so we can verify that it is a bootable ISO. So let me quickly just show you how we do that. So I'm going to open up uh, Image Burn here. Now if this was a, another type of file, not a Windows file, you can use a bootable image uh, emulator like this one here. I'll leave a link for it in the video description. If you add this file inside that ISO and select this one as your boot image file, it will make that ISO bootable. So it's a very useful way of making a bootable image as well for any other type of content other than a Windows uh, sort of files. So here we have, I'm just going to quickly load up our Windows 11 ISO. And you can see here, it says the file system is bootable, which means we can boot to this now and it will load up and it will start to uh, install. So pretty straightforward and easy to do on how to create a 
bootable uh, ISO file using ImageBurn. And again, if these files were other types of files which are not related to a Windows operating system, then you can use that image file to create a bootable image file on it so it will actually boot. And that's pretty much it. That's how simple it is to create a bootable uh, ISO using ImageBurn. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a special shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate it. A special shout out to Casso Time, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Phil's Computer Repair, and Welsh Tony One. I really do appreciate the support, guys. I shall catch you in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.